What's up, Dallas ISD? Welcome to the party. All you'll need today is a balloon and two towels, but don't worry about the towels just yet. Go ahead and grab that balloon. As you can tell, Coach Harris is already getting started with our fun. Um, first off, once you have your balloon, you're good to go. Go ahead and blow it up just a little bit. We're first gonna just get our body warm by letting the balloon go as so. But you are going to blow it up, drop it, let it go all crazy and try and grab it before it hits the ground. So don't worry about tying it just yet. We'll talk about that, walk you through that in just a little bit, okay? So like I said, blow it up, let it go, try and grab it before it drops the ground. Here we go, DJ, three, two, one. <laughs> Blow it up, let it go. It's okay if you don't grab it before it drops. Blow it up, let it go. <laughs> and very good. All right. So now we are going to actually practice tying our balloon. Okay, so first off, you just want to stretch it out just a little bit, just like a rubber band. Then you're going to place your hand at the bottom, your hand at the top, okay? And then you're just going to give about two to three big old breaths in there, and then you will go ahead and uh, hear and see it expand. Okay, so let's do that part first. Y'all ready? There's one. There's two. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. You're going to keep your hand at the top, keep it pinched, okay? You're going to expand, then you're gonna go ahead and go over two fingers, under, like you're tying a shoe, and then go ahead and wrap it around your two fingers. Be patient with this. If you need to press pause, don't worry about it, okay? As you can tell, sometimes it's a little tricky. You do have to be a little patient and a little gentle, and then you just kind of gently slide and then tie it up. All right. So now that we have our balloons, we're now ready to get even more warmed up. So DJ, if you can give us some music so we can get our party started. We're first going to simply go around your ankle, the ankles, <laughs> you have two ankles, then go around your hips, go around your head. That's one. We're gonna do about three times. Now, you can either hold it at the bottom, okay? Or if you wanna challenge, you can see if you can keep it in between your hands as long as possible. But holding it at the bottom will be easier, okay? Coaches, y'all ready? All right, here we go. Ankles, hips, and head. There's one. Ankles, hips, head. There's two. Ankles, ooh, if you drop it, that's okay. Pick it back up. Hips, and head. There's three, all right. Next, we're going to go ahead and do what's called a figure eight. Your feet are gonna be a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. You're gonna get in a squat, like you're playing basketball and you're playing defense. Your hands are gonna start out wide. This is where you're gonna hold the balloon. Then you're gonna go in between your legs. With the other hand, you're gonna grab it on the way out. Come back forward between your legs. And then just like this. So, as you can tell, our coaches are Demonstrating very well of going in front, behind, around. In front, behind, around. All right, we have 10. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. Like I said, easy way is to hold the balloon at the bottom, or if you want to challenge, hold it on the side. Just be careful. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Make sure that you keep track of your number. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Stand tall, let's take a big breath on our toes and let it out. All right, next we're going to engage our um, legs. We just did that, we're gonna continue to do that. We're going to step forward, lunge in between our legs, come back, feet together. So we're gonna go forward lunge between our legs, 
feet back together. That's one. How many do y'all think we're gonna have? 10. All right, here we go. Yes, thank you. We are gonna alternate our legs. Here we go, starting with our left foot forward. Three, two, one, go. Step out, lunge between your legs. Come back, there's one. Step out, lunge. There's two, step out. Coaches, what um, sport involves this sort of warm up? Basketball. So we're not necessarily bouncing the ball, but if you do have a basketball, this is something that you can incorporate while you're watching TV. Work on them handles, get them right. Hey, <laughs> Coaches, I lost count. This is 10, we did 10, you sure? Let's do one more just, just, just to make sure. <laughs> okay. Next, okay, you're going to do a frog jump. You're gonna tap down. When you jump, you're gonna also release your balloon, jump up, land, catch it above your head. So don't let it catch, don't catch it down here. You're going to, like I said, frog jump, tap the ground, release, land, catch it above your head. We have 10, here we go. Three, two, one, tap. There's one. Catch it above your head. Two, jump as high as you can. Three, <laughs> four. So not only are we using our legs, we're also working on tracking our balloon. If it goes in front of you, you might have to take a step. Keep your eye on the prize. We don't want this balloon to drop. Let's go two more. Jump as high as you can. Last one. Very good, okay. Whew, check your heart. Mine is thumping. That's a good thing. That means we're, our warm up is working because you're working. Okay, but we're not done yet. We're almost done and we'll get some water. Next one. So we're gonna build on our activity that we just did. So you're going to squat this time. Squat, toss, land, land, catch. As you can tell, I didn't do a very good job, but hopefully you will. Take it slow. So you're going to squat, release, turn, land, catch it before it hits the ground. Okay, so coaches, hopefully you can do it better than me. Let's try it. Squat, turn, turn, catch. Let's do about, let's do about five. Here we go. Three, two, one. Squat, throw, turn, turn, catch. <laughs> turn, turn, catch. If two squats or two turns, I should say, is too easy, amp it up. Show us what you got. There's three, we got two more. Throw it up, turn, turn, catch. Last one, I'm gonna try three. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Oh, my volleyball skills didn't help me. All right, very good guys. Hopefully your heart is pumping. You might be a little out of breath like me. That's okay. This is your opportunity to go get that water. Keep your balloon, don't pop it. Put it in a safe place. Water, come back. See you in a little bit. Welcome back, guys. Um, okay, as you can tell, our coaches, they're getting all the water they can get. Remember, we did, I didn't do a very good job of breathing very well, and you probably heard it, but that's okay. Sometimes we struggle, sometimes it's just not your day, but you know what, it's all in the head. You check yourself, my coaches checked me. I said, okay, I got you. You breathe through your nose, out through your mouth, slow down your breathing, okay? 
Now, our body's gonna be a little bit slower. We already did our warm up. We're gonna take it down a little bit and then we're gonna amp it back up, okay? So what we're gonna focus on right now are sports skills and balancing skills, okay? So a couple things that involve balancing as well as our sports skills or our form, basketball, soccer, volleyball, okay? So we're gonna pretend this balloon transforms from a volleyball to a soccer ball to a basketball, anything you can imagine, okay? Football, yes. Okay, so we're first gonna start off with, make sure you're in a good space, okay? If you stay in the same area, that's okay. If you wanna walk around with it, that's okay too. We're first going to work on a volleyball passing platform, okay? Some people call this bumping. That's, that's okay too, okay? Coach Bonda played volleyball in college, so she takes it very seriously. Seriously. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a fist, you're gonna straighten your arm, doesn't matter which arm, just straighten one. You're gonna take your other hand, big hand, wrap it around, and then clasp. So as you can tell, my two thumbs, they're not out, they're together and they're facing down, okay? As you can tell, I have a nice, what's called a platform, okay? This platform is where the volleyball, or today our balloon, is going to make contact, okay? What you don't wanna happen is this platform to go over your head because this balloon is gonna go all the way to the parking lot. We don't want that. We just want it nice and controlled, okay? So coaches, can you please show us where our platform should start and where it should end? They don't know, but that's okay. They're gonna try. Perfect, yes, okay? So coach Nelson is showing us it's gonna start low, it's gonna end low. Start low, end low. Yes, my body height is changing, but my platform is not changing. Just my body, bending my knees, standing a little bit up, okay? Now we're gonna incorporate our volleyball. We're gonna get about 10 passes to ourself. If you want, you can pass to yourself and catch. If you feel like, I got this, let's go. You just go back to back to back. Notice how I'm still in an athletic stance. You don't wanna stand straight up and do this, okay? You're gonna send it out the window and then it's gone, it's bye, okay? So 10 passes to yourself, either pass, catch, or pass continuously. Coaches, y'all ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Good. If your volleyball goes in front of you or behind you, that's why you have legs, move those feet. Keep the volleyball in front of you. If the volleyball is behind you, that means that your platform is going behind you. Good job, Coach Harris. And if you notice, Coach Harris and Coach Nelson are a lot taller than me. Sometimes volleyball players think, oh, I'm super tall. I'm not going to have to pass. Yeah, you are, okay? Very good, coaches. Okay, let's switch it up. This is now a soccer ball, okay? You have two options. You can either knee or you can either toe tap, okay? Once again, you can either knee and catch or continuous, okay? Remember, your space, if you want continuous, go ahead, or if you want knee and catch. Tap and tap, uh, catch. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Keep it up. If you can see, Coach Nelson is doing a combination of the knee and the tap. If you see Coach Harris, he got a look little out of control, that's okay. He reset himself and he regrouped. Coaches, what do you think is our next sport? We've already, already covered volleyball, we've already covered soccer. Basketball. Basketball, very good. Y'all know I love me some basketball. All right, we are going to, we did this uh, last week, okay? We're gonna practice on our form, okay? Once again, we're gonna keep our hand, our shooting hand, right in the middle of this basketball and our non-dominant hand right on the side. We have our feet shoulder width apart. We're in a nice ready stance. We have our chicken wing or not chicken wing? No chicken wing. We get our, our elbow in, bend, extend. Okay, let's jump up like we're getting a rebound and then come back. So we're gonna bend, extend, jump up to get the rebound and then come back. Okay, let's go ahead and do five of them. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Bend, extend, wait for it, get that rebound. Bend, extend, get that rebound. You might be thinking, Coach Bonner, I make it all the time, I don't need to get the rebound. That's true, 
I'm proud of you. But at the same time, sometimes the best players are the ones that you don't expect to get the rebound. Even though you're the shortest one, you can still get the rebound. Even though maybe you're the farthest one from the hoop, you can still get that rebound. <laughs> Very good. All right, coaches, last challenge. So we did our volleyball, soccer, and basketball, okay? Now, you're just gonna compete with yourself or you can grab someone within your household and compete with them. You can use any part of your body to keep this balloon up. The second it touches the ground, you have to drop down and give me three push-ups, okay? So we're gonna get one minute on the clock. I want you to keep count, okay? So if you are at three and then you just let it drop on accident, you remember, three push-ups and then start over, okay? So if your balloon hits the ground, don't continue at the number that it last uh, that you last had, okay? Make sure that you start over. Your goal is to get more than these coaches. Your goal is to keep yourself in check and compete against the person at home. Y'all ready? Yeah. All right, so if you need to kick it this way, kick it that way, kick it with the ear, doesn't matter. Do what you have to do to keep it up. One minute on the clock. Three, two, one, go. You can use your head. <laughs> <laughs> your hip, your shoelaces, your forehead. Three push-ups. Make sure you're keeping count. Make sure you're keeping count. Coach Nelson, what's your count right now? He can't multitask. <laughs> what's your count right now? 13. Maybe at home you have more than 13. Coaches, you got 20 seconds. Students, you got 20 seconds. Show out, show out, come on. Look at those push-ups. He's not cheating. 10 seconds. <laughs> Seven, eight, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, what, we, what you got? What you got? What you got? 12? 24. 24. 24. Kobe's number. Kobe. All right. If you got more than 24, Love it. If you didn't, that's okay. I got zero. You, you beat me, okay? All right, go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and get some water. You get some water. What you're gonna need when you come back, you still need your balloon, but then you also need one to two towels. For sure one, but if you have two, grab those two. All right, see you back in 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are now, we transformed the gym into a volleyball gym, okay? This is our lovely net. You have one too. You also have our lovely volleyball, okay? So we did volleyball as part of one of our activities. We're gonna think back to that. What did Coach Bonda say? She said, my platform does not go over my head. She said that my platform is where the uh, balloon makes contact. And she also said that my thumbs need to be together and facing down, okay? So our coaches are gonna, Go ahead and display that. They are gonna actually be playing volleyball. How can you play volleyball at home? Pretty simple. You just go ahead and make sure that this ball does not touch the ground on your side. So for example, coach, he's gonna, <laughs> he's going to have the volleyball. He has, for round one, he's going to have to touch the volleyball three times. How many coaches? Three. Three times before he can send it over the net. So if he only touches it once and he's like, oh my gosh, yes, I got a point. Coach Nelson's gonna say, <laughs> Coach Nelson's gonna say no, okay? Rewind, you have to touch it three times before you send it over the net. Now, if he does touch it three times and he sends it over and Coach Nelson is picking boogers and he's not paying attention and it goes down, whose point is it? 
Mm-hmm. All right, so we're gonna be playing the first one to five points. First one to five points. Let's see. I'm thinking of a number and it is? 22. 22, sure, here you go. Yeah. He gets to serve first. So what he's gonna do is he is, he can throw it over. He can just place one, make one contact. Your serve is only one con contact. That's the only time you make one contact. All right, coaches. DJ, can we get some music so we can get some hype? Here we go. First one to five, three, two, one. Boop. Service. Let's see. Does it make it over the net? <laughs> Coach Nelson made his three contacts. As you can tell, they're using their palms. Ooh, there we go. There we go. We got good passing form. Ooh, he even got the pass set hit. I love the dive. Let's see. <laughs> Still zero, zero. This is going to be a long rally. Point one zero. All right, it is Coach Coach Nelson serve. Coach Nelson serve. Remember, this is the only time you make one contact. Nice underhand serve. There's two contacts. Woo! With the trickery, with the tip. Nice save. I like it. Stay on your toes. Trickster. Ooh, he did the no look. <laughs> Ooh, he stayed out of the light. I like it. Let's see. It's still 1-0. Let's go ahead and play to three, coaches. I, I saw it. It touched the ground. It touched the ground. Coach Nelson, two. Coach Nelson, two. Coach Harris, goose egg, zero. Once again, it is Coach Nelson's serve because he got the point. It touched Coach Harris's side on the ground. Remember, we're making three contacts. Whatever you, you can use your foot. Your elbow, whatever you need, just three contacts for sure. Oh my goodness, look at that hustle, I love it. 2 0, 2 0. Come on, get on the scoreboard, Harris. <laughs> the effort, the effort. All right, one, Coach Harris finally on the board. One to two. It is now Coach Harris' serve because he got the point. Let's see. Oh, jump serve. Trickster, the hustle is real, y'all. One, two, he still maintained three contacts. If you can tell, we aren't just staying on our feet. You can get on your belly. You might have to dive a little bit. Just make sure that whatever you're doing, you have enough space and that you are still maintaining your safety. <laughs> All you need is three points. Point, two, 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 two. This is a good example of not giving up. Coach Harris only had two, but now he tied it up. It is two, two. Here we go. Boop, service. One, two, three. If you can tell, Coach Nelson is doing a good job of giving, getting his elbow up when he's making that third contact. That was only two. He did get three points, but in volleyball, you have to win by two points. And I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. Volleyball gods made that up. Two points, you have to win by two points. So he has three points, he has two. The game is not over. He has to win by two points. Do this at home too. Here we go, Burp. service. Two, three, one, two. Remember, you're still maintaining those three contests. <laughs> yes, go Terrence. Winner, because Coach Nelson only made two contacts. Way to be a good sport, y'all. Look at that, look at that. Comeback kid right here. Let's give him three claps and a snap. Very good. All right, they're gonna get a quick water break because they are drenched in sweat from all that diving, everything. The hustle was real. Hopefully it was real at your home too. See y'all in a little bit. Welcome back. 
<laughs> okay, so um, our coaches are now going to be in crab position. So you might think, you might have to think back all the way to kinder, okay? And you might think, man, I remember hearing that, that phrase, crab walk. Th this is called crab walk, ba uh, not basketball, skirt, volleyball, okay? You can only use your feet. Okay, you cannot use your hands. Your hands are gonna be what gets you from side to side, side to side, side to side, front to, front, front to back, all that. Okay, so we played to three last time. This time we're gonna play to two because we only have about four more minutes left. Okay, our coaches are doing a great job. You're doing a great job. Maintain your energy, maintain your form, all that good stuff. All right, he got the victory. Okay, Coach Nelson, just sportsmanship to the T, okay. Remember, you can only use your feet. There's his service. One, two, three. Yes, you still have to maintain three contacts. Soccer players, this might be your time to shine. That's four contacts. All right, so who gets the point? Coach Harris. One, I do. One, zero. Remember, we're playing the two, and you have to win by two. <laughs> Three contacts still, bam. All right, it's a close one with the fake out. Nope, you're good. Good one. <laughs> Ooh, with the header. Winner again, two, zero, two, zero. So as you can tell, volleyball is a lot of fun. Okay, you don't have to have the big old net. You don't have to have the whistle, none of that. We just got creative, two towels, a balloon, our bodies, we're good to go, okay? Rematch. This time, okay, rematch, I like it, I like it, but this time we're gonna be in plank position. So we first started on our feet, then we went to crab, now we're gonna be plank position. You can only use your hands this time. Your feet are gonna be what help you to move side to side, all right. <laughs> Here we go. Three. I'll, I'll give you this too. You can also use your head. Okay? Hands and head. Here we go. Three, two, one. Service. Beep. One, two, three. <laughs> go, 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 go. I love the effort. I love the effort. This is. Oh! <laughs> go harder. Very good. Okay, one, zero. One zero. It is tough. It is tough. Tighten that core. <laughs> now you might be thinking, what is an ace? Ace is when you serve and they can't even touch it because it's that good of a serve. Two zero, correct? Two zero. Let's play to three. Come on, Coach Harris. There you go, Nelson. It might look a little fun. Oh, that is what you call a kill. That was an amazing kill, very good. All right, good sportsmanship, amazing job. Thank y'all so much for joining us, okay? Sometimes it really just takes something like a balloon and some towels and your energy so that you just have fun, okay? Um, we're just so proud of y'all. Thank y'all so much for joining us. We are all DISD proud, as you can tell. We love y'all, stay safe. See y'all next week, bye.